Rosa Bjork Brynjolf's Doltier. Welcome to the Media Box. Your concern is about guardianship for the migrant children who come unaccompanied. How big a problem is that? Well, of course, we have witnessed in the last years that unaccompanied and migrant children are the most vulnerable group among migrant and refugee and displaced persons. And we have seen some thousands of, of unaccompanied children who have migrated to Europe. And we have also seen the need for us in the Council of Europe and in the Parliamentary Assembly of the Council to act uh, firmly in to protect their rights. So this report is a one important step in that direction. You talk about guardianship. How would that work and who would provide the guardianship and who would regulate it? Uh, well, in my report, we put forward uh, guidelines and recommendation to member states how to uh, fulfill the Council of Europe standards when it comes to guardianship. And we have seen the need for effective guardianship uh, for those children coming along uh, towards Europe from very difficult situation and traumatized and in a desperate need for uh, professional aid and support. So um, we are suggesting in my report that we, uh, the member states should review their legislation in this field when it comes to guardianship. And we should also, uh, when I talk about we, we are talking about the member states, we should also allocate necessary financial, technical and human resources to ensure that uh, every child is assigned a guardian immediately on reception. When I'm talking about a guardianship, of course, the ideal is that the guardian should be some a, a professional, a social worker, uh, someone with a professional background that can help and aid and support children in their most vulnerable situation. And I think that uh, among the recommendation for a holistic system when it comes to guardianship for the member states. I think that is very necessary for us to put forward and push through and that we will do in this uh, report. Of course, pre presumably these children have to have shelter, they have to be fed, they have to be cleaned and, and, and clothed and, and looked after. And the report suggests this will stretch right the way through into almost into adulthood. It, you, it, the Guardian will help them to move forward through their lives into adulthood. That's a, that's a big ask, isn't it? It is, but also it's not just about the basic needs, as you were describing, Jim, but it's also about uh, providing the children their rights, to let them know their rights, to uh, assure that they will have their rights uh, that they are entitled to. So that is also part of the guardianship. So that they will get the, um, the social uh, support uh, that they uh, need and, and are entitled to. So it's not only about the basic needs, but uh, we have seen it also in preparation for this report is that there is a lack of information uh, to those children and also to um, safeguarding that the, the children that they are aware of their rights, but also just to um, make sure that they will get their rights and they get the, the support and the need that they are entitled to. Given that um, migrants generally do get a fairly bad press and uh, there is a lot of hostility towards migrants coming into Europe at all, how hopeful are you that the countries involved and the member states of the Council of Europe will actually do this? I am very hopeful that the member states will do. I think they will. this report will also help the member states to strengthen the, the uh, reception system when it comes to this vulnerable group. And as we all have witnessed in Europe and in the member states of the Council of Europe, um, I, I'm not very fond of talking about the cost, but and then I'm talking about the, the, the effects on the societies. If we do not provide those children uh, the support they are entitled to, we will see the effects of that, a lack of support in their lives in the upcoming years. And that is something that uh, we in the member states, we should avoid and we should 
instead strengthen the, these children, uh, providing them with the rights and support they are entitled to, and that will support them into their lives and to have a, a prosperous life ahead of them. Rosa Bjork, Renjol Stotier, thank you very much indeed. Thank you so much.